To create your first campaign, click the new email campaign button on the email campaigns page. First, you'll be shown three different options of email campaigns that you can choose from. You have your regular one-time email marketing campaign. You can choose A-B testing, or you can choose to do an email journey. For this video, we're just gonna be covering how to set up a one-time email campaign. The very first step when creating an email campaign is choosing who you want to send the email campaign to. I have a quick tip for you. If you send to more specific segments, you'll get 40% more opens and 15% more clicks on average than sending to a more generalized segment. So for this video, I'm gonna select one filter. You can choose as many filters as you want. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. I'm gonna filter for all my contacts who live in Canada. Once you've applied the filters you like, you'll select which recipients within the segment you'd like to send the email campaign to. This is now broken up by the recipient's engagement level. So by default, Hive will select your active, new, and at-risk subscribers to send the email campaign to. Sending to your inactive subscribers can significantly hurt your email deliverability and potentially land your email in the spam folder. It's best to craft messages that re-engage inactive subscribers with a win-back campaign, which we will be covering in a future video, so stay tuned. So I'm gonna follow my own advice and I'm not going to select inactive subscribers. Instead, I only wanna target people who live in Canada who are active, new, and at risk. And you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, we estimate the open rate we believe your email campaign will have. Once you've gone through this step, then we're gonna set up the campaign details. So super simple, we're gonna fill out the campaign name, we're gonna set your from name and your from address, and then you'll choose your subject line, and if you want, you can add preview text as well. On this page, you'll also choose if you wanna send the email immediately or send at a specific time and date. For this one, I'm just gonna send it immediately. This is a very important email. I hope everybody understands that. So once you've done that, we're gonna click continue, and then we are shown the templates page. So on this page, you can either select a pre-existing template that you've already created in the template editor, or you can create one completely from scratch. For this one, I'm gonna create one from scratch. I'm feeling adventurous today. So even if you choose a pre-existing template, it'll still give you the option to edit if you only need to make a few changes. In a separate video, we'll be going over exactly how the template editor works. So if you wanna learn more about that, check out the links in the description. Once you've made the changes you need to the template, then we're just gonna go ahead and click save and continue and it will bring us to the campaign deliverability page. If Hive flags anything that we see could be problematic with your email, meaning it would be more likely to be sent to spam, Hive will give you recommendations on how you can improve your email campaign. And here's an example of a higher deliverability score. So it looks like my Canadian email is going to do amazing. So the last step is to confirm the high level details of your campaign just making sure that everything looks the way that you want it to. If I selected a future time and date, it'll just say to save the campaign and then it will go out when the time has been selected. Or if you don't wanna schedule or send out the email campaign right now, you can just save the email campaign as a draft. That concludes the rest of this video. If you'd like to learn more, check out some of our resources linked in the description below.